Namaste. Welcome to Kriya Yoga's Ayurvedic Tips for Health and Wellness. Today we're going to be talking about Ayurvedic's view on health and immunity. Health from an Ayurvedic perspective is swasta. Swa meaning the self and sta meaning to be situated within. From an Ayurvedic perspective, swasta actually means balanced doshas, balanced datus, which are the tissue layers, balanced agni, balanced mala, which is your elimination, and a pleasing state of the mind, senses, and the soul. From an Ayurvedic perspective, when we are dealing with the health of an individual, we are looking at prevention of disease, as well as maintenance of health and balance. So these are the two aspects of health, of swasta. Ayurveda is an ancient system from India that has been recorded at least 5,000 years ago, but been practiced since the dawn of time. It is believed that Ayurveda was actually passed on to humanity through Brahma, the creator of the universe, as a result of humankind wanting to ease the suffering. So Ayurveda is really the practice of living in harmony, harmonizing our internal environment with the external environment around us. And as such has a lot of lifestyle tips as well as dietary tips that are meant to balance and harmonize our microcosm with the vast macrocosm that we dwell in. We view the human body, life, ayu, as the conjunction of mind, soul, the pancha mahabhutas, which are the five great elements, and the sense perceptions. So when we divide the pancha mahabhutas, which are ether, air, fire, water, and earth, into three subcategories of vata, pitta, and kapha, which are vata, air, and ether, pitta, fire, and a little bit of water, and kapha, water, and earth, then we can see that each of us are made up of a combination of these three doshas, three doshas, vata, pitta, kapha, and with the knowledge of how these permeate and manifest uniquely within us, we can endeavor to do certain practices to keep our constitutions of vata, pitta, or kapha in balance with the external environment. Ayurvedic immunity, the ability to ward off, suppress, or prevent disease from happening. So when we're looking at the strength of an individual, the bala of an individual, we would look at their ability to fight off invading pathogens or causative factors of disease from external factors in the environment, in their diet, so on and so forth. So the two things that we would really want to do would be to enhance ojas, but also to clear ama. Toxic buildup that we in Ayurveda call ama actually creates an environment, we believe, from an Ayurvedic perspective that allows for pathogens from the external environment to create and wreak havoc within our systems. And we also have to recognize that from an Ayurvedic perspective, we're taking in genetic coding from our ancestors. So we believe that with the knowledge of what our dosha is, right? So if I am more pitta or more kapha or more vata or a combination of two of those, if I understand what my dosha prakriti is, then I know the things that I have to do to keep that within balance, to keep my agni strong, to keep my datu, you know, the tissues formed well and healthy and strong and holding my body in the proper way, to keep my mind calm and in a more sattvic state. I know the things that I need to do when I understand my dosha prakriti. And then, and then maybe, we don't turn on those certain genetic predispositions because we understand 
as dosha means in, in Sanskrit, actually fault, we understand what our faults, our weaknesses are, and we can do the things to help keep those in balance through diet and lifestyle and other Ayurvedic recommendations.